Hello, I'm George Griffin. This is Ryan King. We're with Southern Regional Technical College. Today we're going to demonstrate how to set up the Advanced Manufacturing Mobile Training Lab. Before disconnecting the trailer from the truck, it's very important to chalk the wheels on both sides. Select a suitable site. The site should be as level as possible to simplify the process. Position the trailer on the selected site. Using the hydraulic landing gear, slightly raise the nose of the trailer then disconnect the trailer from the tow vehicle. The operating switches are located underneath the nose of the trailer and a key is required. Using the hydraulic landing gear, lower the nose of the trailer so it is slightly below level. Place one or more levels on the floor of the trailer or use the levels attached to the trailer to check the leveling. Extend the leveling jacks near the rear of the trailer until they make contact. Using the leveling jacks, hydraulic landing gear, or a separate bottle jack, level the rear of the trailer laterally. Using the hydraulic landing gear, raise the nose of the trailer and adjust as needed until the trailer is level both longitudinally and laterally. Lower the mechanical landing gear to support the nose of the trailer in case the hydraulic landing gear leaks down. If you have trouble with the hydraulic landing gear, you can open the door on the side of the trailer to access the mechanical landing gear crank. The rocker switches are located near the rear of the trailer just forward of the slide outs. Before moving the slide outs, be sure that there are no obstructions in the way, and then begin fully extending the slide outs. Lower the ramp on the rear of the trailer and remove the steps. Position the steps at the personnel door. To extend the awning, locate the operating switches on the left side of the personnel door. Turn the switch to the on position. Be sure the door is closed and press the extend button. Hold it until it fully extends. Using the start-stop rocker switch located on your right when entering the personnel door, start the generator. The transfer switch will sense power come from the generator and transition to generator power after a short delay. Here are some other important things to know. Be certain the thermostats and any battery-powered lighting are off when the trailer is not in use. Place cribbing boards under all landing gear or leveling jacks, otherwise they may damage hot asphalt. The battery charger is in the nose of the trailer and must be plugged into a powered outlet to charge the batteries. The air compressor is in the nose of the trailer. The network switch is in the nose of the trailer. If the generator must be jumped off, there are terminals that can be accessed behind the door on the outside of the nose of the trailer. The fuel tank is accessed from the door on the lower front of the trailer. Use diesel only. If the generator fails to start, it will need to be reset on the generator's control panel before making additional attempts. The trailer is now ready for use. If you have further questions, please contact your economic development representative.